Biden campaign to stay on TikTok even after president signs law to force sale or ban app in the U.S. I mean, <laughs> hypocrisy abounds with this administration. I mean, Biden, I mean, it, it makes absolutely no sense. If you're going to ban the app, if you're going to say we're not going to, we're going to ban the app, but you're going to be on the platform anyway. I mean, it's, it's ridiculous. Um, Biden is, is just ridiculous. Everything he touches, it seems he ruins, <laughs> country included. Um, so we're going to talk a little bit about that. Um, but before we get started, go ahead and hit that like button. Share this out so we can get this information out there. Subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. And hit that alarm bell so you know when I'm putting out new stuff. Also, check out my link tree in the description. It has a link to my Patreon. That's where I talk about things I can't talk about here. There's also a link to my Instagram and my merch store. Also, check out jjthepsychotherapist.com for news as well. All right, let's talk about this news. Now, um, this comes uh, from Fox News. Um, Brooke Singman, and she reports that the Biden administration will stay on TikTok even after President Biden signed a bill into law that will force its China-based parent company to sell the video sharing social media platform or face a ban in the United States, Fox News has learned. And um, I'm going to play this clip from Mike Pompeo in a little bit um, when, um, on him talking about uh, TikTok, the TikTok ban. I'm not really a big fan of Mike Pompeo, um, but anyway, Biden campaign officials told Fox News on Wednesday that the Biden-Harris campaign, quote, will stay on TikTok. And President Biden on Wednesday morning signed a Senate-passed bill to force TikTok's parent company, ByteDance, which is based in China, to sell the app or be banned in the United States as lawmakers accused the platform of being a risk to U.S. national security collecting user data and uh, spreading propaganda. Now, propaganda is not illegal, <laughs> and a collecting data is not illegal if people choose to give away their information like that. Um, that's on them. Um, so I'm, I'm kind of on the fence. I'm, I, I don't know. We know TikTok is being used by um, China to steal people's data. We know that. Um, so, I mean... I understand why they want to ban it, but at the same time, this sets a, a, a dangerous precedent. You know what I'm saying? So I, I'm I'm kind of I'm kind of on a fence when it comes to banning TikTok because I'm not gonna lie, I go, I go back and forth. Like next week, it might change. You know, to be honest with you, I, I, I'm I'm a little bit confused on the whole TikTok thing, but it does scare me the precedent that is set because this means that Biden can come through and ban anything he doesn't like. I can see them doing the same thing to X, you know, so I I, I don't I don't know. But um, I, I do understand some of the people that's for banning TikTok because they're afraid of China um, using this information against them, and, and rightfully so. But the um, TikTok legislation was part of a set of bills providing $95 billion in foreign aid to Ukraine, Israel, and Taiwan. And that's another thing I don't like. We, as a country, are borrowing money at a crazy rate. I think it's um like we 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 go into debt, we end up on like a hundred um every hundred days a trillion dollars. Every hundred days a trillion dollars and we and but at the same time we're borrowing this money from um China who's supposed to be our enemy and we're borrowing this money from like Japan and places and stuff like that and, and taking that money we're borrowing that we don't have and giving it to other countries. Make this make sense to me. This makes absolutely no sense, especially when we're already in, in a recession, even though they try to deny it. Um, the inflation is terrible. People can't afford groceries. People can't afford to um, pay rent, pay their mortgage. People are struggling. And you're going to give $95 billion to Ukraine, Israel, and Taiwan. You basically just spit in the face of the American people. This is ridiculous. The House Republicans' decision last week to attach the TikTok bill to the foreign aid. Now, mind you, they 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 attached the TikTok bill, not the border bill, to support to um secure our border. We're securing Ukraine Ukraine's border. We're securing Israel's border. We're securing Taiwan's border, but nothing for our border. So you can't even you can't even really trust the Republicans. The Republicans that's in government right now that voted for this, they're just as despicable as the Democrats. But um, the bill um, to attach the TikTok bill to the foreign aid package helped expedite its passage after an earlier version of the bill had stalled in the Senate. Um, the Senate version 
would have given ByteDance six months to divest its stakes in the platform, which some lawmakers believe was too short of a window for a complex deal, potentially worth tens of billions of dollars. The new measure gives ByteDance nine months, wow, whopping three more months, to sell TikTok, as well as a possible three-month extension if a sale is in progress. The bill would also prohibit the company from controlling the algorithm that shows users videos based on their interests. Um, the, the passage of the legislation comes amid bipartisan fears in Congress over Chinese threats, which includes the ownership of TikTok. <laughs> but you're still taking money from China, though. We're so afraid of China and all this other thing. China is a threat, which I agree with. The CCP is a threat. But you continue to take their money, and then you take their money, and again, you give it to um, foreign countries. Lawmakers are lawmakers and administration officials have expressed concern for years that Chinese officials would force ByteDance to provide uh, U.S. user data and influence Americans by promoting certain content on the platform, and we know that's happening. China has previously said it would oppose forcing the sale of TikTok and has signaled it would oppose the latest legislation. And TikTok has long denied it is a security threat. Yeah, right. We all know that's a lie. And is preparing a lawsuit to block the legislation. We all know that TikTok is a security threat. Um, so I'm going to play this clip here and um, hear what Mike Pompeo has to say about it. I haven't, I haven't seen this clip yet. So let's see his take on it. Also, part of that foreign aid bill is a measure that would force TikTok's Chinese-based owner to sell the company or face a ban here in the U.S. Former Secretary of State and Fox News contributor Mike Pompeo joins us now. Mr. Secretary, thanks for being here. Jackie, it's great to be with you this morning. So, Mr. Secretary, it was really kind of a genius move of Mike Johnson to slip this into the foreign aid package and send it as part of that deal over to the Senate because the bill that had overwhelmingly passed the House uh, as a standalone bill to force this sale of TikTok was really kind of hanging out in limbo in the Senate. But <laughs> you know well that this, the, the Trump administration tried to do this before. So there are still some pitfalls ahead. Uh, what do you see happening here potentially? Well, Jackie, I, I'm, I'm, I'm pleased with the progress that's been made. We in the United States have never allowed a foreign adversary to have control of a media entity inside the United States of America. We've never let our enemies communicate directly through a enterprise, a communication. So it used to be in the old days, it was uh, television Again. networks and stations. We didn't let foreign. They're our enemy, but we're accepting billions of dollars from them, right? We're accepting billions of dollars and giving it to other countries. adversaries own those. This is the same idea. We can't let the Chinese Communist Party own a communication mechanism to reach every one of our children, teenagers, people all across America, propagandizing against our country and in support of the Chinese Communist Party. So I, I think President Biden will likely sign it today. And then I hope, uh, while this isn't a ban of TikTok, TikTok can still continue to exist. It just cannot be owned by a foreign adversary. It makes perfect sense. It's common sense. And I think the American people across a broad political spectrum support this central idea of making sure that we don't allow Communist Party adversaries to communicate directly with our children. Do you think? All right. So uh, again, I'm kind of on the fence on that because it sets the president. Um, I, they can use this as grounds for banning any company, really. But um, so again, I'm on the fence on it. But let me know what you think. Leave your comments um, down below. Do you do you think that um, this TikTok ban is a good thing? How do you feel about um, about Biden still being on TikTok after signing this bill? And um, what do you think about? our country giving um, billions of dollars to other countries while our um, normal Americans are struggling right now. Leave your comments down below. Like, share, and subscribe, and check out jjthepsychotherapist.com for the latest in news. Until next time.